update. Good afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. Currently, we have a slightly mixed bag out here. All the U.S. indices, with the exception of the semis, are trading to the upside. The semis only off seven bucks, eight bucks, two tenths of a percent. That's basically flat. The Nasdaq is uh, the Nasdaq 100 is up 43. That's two tenths. The Russell is up nine tenths or 19 points. The Dow up 40. The S&P up seven. Gold is up about nine. Silver 19 cents. Let's recruit up 34 pennies. Let's go spend a little time and take a look at our cash indice charts out here we begin by take a look at the dow in the upper left hand corner now the dow number to be watching write this down in your pad of paper it's 36 565 73 if the dow is able to close above that level then it will negate its td nine count top and if it doesn't that topping pattern stays in play the s p 500 does not have a topping pattern it negated that signal on monday this is going to become bar number six that says there could be a td nine count top. It still needs to form out there, but that could form by the middle of next week. The NASDAQ 100 still has its roads momentum indicator top in place. The Russell 2000, it has a sell the D point and wave number seven that is in place out here. Now, today is going to be bar number seven here. Likely, we will see price spike above bar number five, that high out here tomorrow or on Monday. That high is 22.7140. That would then create a TD9 count top for it. Does Russell 2000 need to do that? No, but it'd be nice to have that signal. The semis, although they're, they're pulling back, they're just pulling back to test the oscillator and change line. That's currently printing at uh, 39.7897. We're trading at 39.85 as we speak right now. A close below that oscillator and change line would suggest the semis are getting ready for a pullback. Why? Because two days ago you had a confirmed road momentum indicator top. So the key level of support is that green oscillator and change line. Now transport's not really doing a whole lot Lot, so we won't pay any attention there. Now, the spot volatilics maybe just simply make it move back to 1638. Could be 1527. 1638 is the TD9 breakout level. 1527 is the bottom of its 50 to 1 Bollinger Band. And in the case of the XAU, it has a TD9 count top. And if tomorrow price can close above its high, that's from the high of December 28th out there. That level is 132.30. Then the XAU will signal it's off to the races. An A to B equals CD to the upside and to move to 144.53. That's not the message right now, but that would be the message if price can take out the high from two days ago. Folks, thanks much for being here. Stay tuned for some great programming. I'll be back with you tomorrow, 1 o'clock sharp, to do the market update, the Trader's Ed show after that. If you're off to start your holiday, have a happy new year. Thanks much for always joining us and look forward to seeing you again soon.